So a couple years ago when we moved in, we immediately noticed that the water had kind of a funky taste and smell to it. Yeah. So we put on this water filter and that's been doing okay here, but it doesn't address the rest of the house. Okay. Um, it's also a little bit bulky, makes it hard to it wash dishes. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look that great. And it also takes a few minutes before the filtration system starts okay. to work. So we're looking for a more permanent solution. Right. So what are you doing? I'm gonna give you a taste. Is this the filtered or unfiltered? See if you can figure it out. Can I trust you? <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. Okay, try this one. Kind of low tidy. <laughs> That's a good description for it. I think it. they have a solution. Come on, let's go. Great. All right, down your basement, here's the main water feed that comes into your house right here. There's an old shuttle valve, looks like, right here. We don't want to touch that. There's a nice new ball valve. I'm glad you have that. Did you know that this was here? I did. Every homeowner should know, just in case. Yeah. All right, your water meter's right here. And now the water comes through this pipe right here and goes out to the whole house. What I want to do is cut into this and do it in two parts. We're going to start with a pre-filter. The water is going to come through here and inside this is a spun woven cylinder and that's going to pick off any particles. So say they work on the water main out in the street or any dirt and rust, it'll actually come through this spun woven fiber and get trapped here. It's going to exit this pre-filter but at this point we haven't done anything for your taste and odor. We've only protected this second filter. Now inside this this big canister here, it's actually filled with granulated activated carbon, which is really no different than what you had upstairs. And what, it, what it looks like is this. You can see this. The black is actually the granulated carbon, and that'll actually, as the water passes through it, it'll clean up taste and odor and really sweeten the water. So now all I have to do is pipe it all in. I'll attach a piece of plywood to the brick wall using a masonry bit and concrete screws. That'll serve as a nice base to mount the bracket for the pre-filter. It's important to clean the pipe before making any connections. If the pipe is not cleaned before soldering, the metal solder may not fill the joint properly. This house doesn't have a drawer off down in the basement, so we'll do it the old-fashioned way by cutting into the pipe and draining the excess water into a bucket. I'll use adapter fittings to transition the piping from the plastic filter housings to the copper. I have to solder them away from the filters to avoid melting the plastic. The rest of the project is a lot of dry fitting and plenty of soldering. There we go. All right, time to say hello to your new filter system. All right, cut the T's in right here on the main water line, comes down through right here on its way to the pre-filter. I put a shutoff valve, and that's a ball valve. You can tell by the handle the direction of flow the water's passing through it, okay? Goes through, comes down, goes through the granulated activated carbon uh, reservoir right here. Leaves here, now it's sweet water, clean. Right through here, again another shutoff valve, and then it goes out to the house. Now here's your shutoff so that it should always be in the open position, but you notice this one I added right here, it's always closed. The reason for that is someday these filters should clog. If it's collecting impurities, sooner or later it would clog and need service. So I've added this bypass to allow you or anybody to shut these off and open this up so that just during the period you've got to service it, water still goes to the house, okay? But in normal position, close, open, open. Time to turn the water on. All right, your new whole house filter's in, the water's back on. I've taken off the old filter off the spout. And now you have not only filtered water here, but every faucet in the house. It is time for your test. Excellent. Give that a shot, see how we did. That's really good. Perfecto. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> All right, see <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You're going to give her glass back, or? <laughs> I'll have you drop it back. <laughs> so in that situation, you are just fixing a taste and an odor issue. You're not really addressing a safety issue. Right. Municipal water supplies have an obligation, a safety standard. They have to live by it, but not really cosmetics. You know, the right. taste and odor can change a little bit. So what is the maintenance on these things? Because I guess if they're doing their job, they will get dirty. 
Depends. Depends on the water quality, meaning at this first place, uh, if the water's got a lot of impurities or particulate, it's going to stick here and over time it just gets more and more condensed. Now you'll see it. Mm -hmm. You'll see it showing up as a drop in water pressure upstairs because there's more pressure drop as it tries to squeeze through all that uh, right. foreign matter. So with this device, unscrew it, take the Turn filter out. Turn it off, out. come in with a handle, get it rid of it. New filter. Change it That's about 20 bucks. That's a little more complicated. Right. How long is this going to last us before it either clogs up or is no longer effective? And when it does, what do you do about Again, it? Again, that depends on the water quality. A manufacturer says about five years you should look at it because there's a fair amount of mass in here of right. all that particulate, so it'll take a while to clog. If you have to change it, there's two choices. One is to break these units, put a whole new unit in, but and that's pretty expensive. Because you're you buying get, actually this thing. That's here. right, the stainless steel and all of it. So now you can also just take this apart, clean out all the goop, all the old carbon, yep. dump it, and then recharge it with a new load and you're, and you're back in business. Cool. All right. Well, good information. Yeah. And uh, good that it's no longer low tidy. <laughs> <laughs> it Thank did you. taste like that. <laughs>